Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the force between two current carrying conductors, force between current loop and torque on the closed circuit. These three derivations we'll see, we will see today. So the first one is the force between two current carrying conductors. There are two current carrying conductors available in between what is the force is available. Now consider this diagram. So this is the conductor A, this is conductor B. There are two conductors available, conductor A and conductor B. The current flowing through the conductor A is I1, current flowing through the conductor B is I2, I1 and I2. In order to apply Ampere's law, we construct one, the current loop covering both conductor A and conductor B. Only one current loop is available here. Two conductors are there, commonly we constructed one current loop. The diameter is d meters. The length of the conductor is L meter. So we have two conductors A and B. The current flowing is I1 and I2. The circular current loop is available covering conductor A and B. The diameter is D and the length is L meter. Right. So that is given here. Consider two current carrying conductors A and B with current I1 and I2 as shown in the diagram. The distance between the conductor is D meters. The loop is formed to, to cover both the conductors. Now we will see. What is the magnetic field intensity due to conductor A? First we will con consider conductor A. What is the magnetic field intensity due to infinite current carrying conductor that is h equal to i1 divided by 2 pi d based on the Ampere's law integral h dot dl equal to i from that h equal to i1 because conductor a it is i1 conductor a the i1 current is flowing i1 divided by 2 pi d then what is magnetic field intensity magnetic flux density b equal to mu h the relation is available b equal to mu h so the magnetic flux density B equal to mu into the H. H is nothing but I1 divided by 2 pi D. So B equal to mu I divided by 2 pi D. So this is referring the conductor A. Magnetic flux density of conductor A is nothing but mu I1 divided by 2 pi D. Then we will see what is the force between the conductors. So due to conductor A, the force is developed on conductor B. The force experienced by the conductor B due to the magnetic field produced by conductor A. Right? We already found the expression for B for the conductor A. Now, the force is experienced by conductor B due to magnetic field intensity of conductor A. What is the general formula? F equal to BIL. That is the general formula. Magnetic flux density, current and length. Here, BI2 because of Conductor B, it is given as I2. B into I2 into L. This B already we calculated. The magnetic flux density due to conductor A, that is mu I1 divided by 2 pi D into I2 into L. Right? So this B is replaced as mu I1 divided by 2 pi D. So what is final expression force between the current carrying conductors? mu i1 i2 l divided by 2 pi d so this force between the conductor depends upon current in the conductor a current in the conductor b length of the conductor and diameter of the closed loop circular loop these these parameters will decide the force between the conductors right so this is the force between two different conductor having only one circular current loop now we'll go to the force between the current loop two different current loops two different conductors with two different current loop the second one we'll see force between the current loops right you see here see refer this diagram so this is one current loop this is another current loop here one conductor is there here one another conductor is available so in the previous derivation, two conductors with only one current loop is formed, but in this derivation, 
two current loop is formed for two different conductors. So this is conductor A. The current flowing is IA. For that we consider one circular loop. The radius is A meter. This is conductor B. The current flowing is IB. Here we construct one another circular current loop with radius B. The center to center distance between this current loop is X meter. Right. So the conductor A current is IA. The circular current loop radius is A. Small A. Conductor B. The current carrying by the conductor B is IB. The radius of circular loop is small b. The center to center distance be the, between the current loop is X meter. Right. So that is given here. Let us consider two parallel coaxially placed circular loop of radius A and B. Right. The centers are separated by X meters. The current in the coil is IA and IB. Right. So due to two different current loop, we will find what is the mutual inductance between the current loop. Mutual inductance M equal to mu divided by 4 pi double integral dl1 dl2 divided by r. So this is the formula for mutual inductance between the current loop. Right. What is here the double integral is available that is integral dl1 and integral dl2. What is integral dl1? Integral dl1 is nothing but l1. l1 is the length. Length is nothing but circumference. The circumference 2 pi a. Circumference of this circular current loop. That is circumference of this circular current loop. Similarly circumference of this current loop. Right. So the dl1 equal to 2 pi a. Similarly dl2 is l2. l2 is nothing but circumference of the second loop. 2 pi b. Here R we consider as X. Distance between the center to center distance between the circular current loop is X. Now we can replace integral DL with 2 pi A. Integral DL2 with 2 pi B. R with X in this expression. So M equal to mu by 4 pi. Integral DL1 is 2 pi A. Integral DL2 is 2 pi B. And R is X, right? This DL1, DL2 and R is replaced here, right? So after simplification, what we got? This 2 pi available here, 4 pi available. So 2. These two and these two got cancelled. So finally, what we have? This mu pi A B by X. That is pi mu A B divided by X, right? The mutual inductance between these two conductors. Now from that we can find the force between the current loop. What is the force between the current loop? The force between two coil with the current IA and IB is given as F equal to IA IB dm by dx. So this is the current in the first coil, current in the second coil. D by dx means differentiation of mutual inductance with respect to x. Distance center to center distance between the coil x, right? We need to differentiate the expression mutual inductance with respect to x. Now we'll substitute the value of m here. Ia ib d by dx of the mutual inductance what we calculated as pi mu ab divided by x, right? So this m is replaced by this expression. So this Ia ib pi mu a is constant. Only what we have d by dx of 1 by x. Only this 1 by x. We need to differentiate only 1 by x. Pi mu a b is constant. What is differentiation of 1 by x? Minus 1 by x square. So i a i b mu pi a b into differentiation of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So finally what we got? Force between the current loop. Right? is minus IA IB mu pi AB divided by X square. So the force is depends upon current in the first conductor, current in the second conductor, right? Radius of the first loop, radius of the second loop and square of the distance between the center to center distance between the current loop, right? So this is the final expression. Now we'll see the torque on the closed circuit. 
Now we will see torque on this closed circuit. Refer this diagram. So this we have one conductor A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. Right? We consider this is one conductor A, B. This is another conductor C, D. This is another conductor D, A and A, B. One closed loop. The conductors are placed in a closed loop. The length is L meter. The width is W. This is X axis and Y axis. This point P and Q is exactly placed at the midpoint. The point P is the midpoint. Now we need to see what is the force between this conductor and what is the torque between this conductor. Finally, what is the torque developed? Right? It is a rotating coil. If it is rotating coil, the torque will be produced. Right? So we have four conductors A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. The length is L, width is W. The point P is located exactly at the half of the half of the length of the conductor. We know that the torque, the force on this B, C and D, A is zero due to normal. Only the force available in A, B and C, D. Right? We will see this one by one. The conductor A, B is placed in the field with uniform distribution. That is conductor A, B is placed in the electric field. Similarly, C, D also placed. First we consider A, B. Then we can go for C, D. That's why only given A, B. Then what is the another description? The P is the midpoint of A, B. Where A, B has the length L. Right? The point P is located at the midpoint. The current flow from A to B. In this diagram, the current is flowing from A to B. In case of C, it is going from C to D. So one current is going upward. This current is going downward. The field is directed from parallel to x-axis. Then the force on the each element of DL of AB is. The L is the total length. DL means a small length in the conductor AB. What is the force? IDL into B. The general formula is available. BIL. Current length into B. So that I into BL. We can write like this. So the total force on conductor, now only consider AB, what is the total force on conductor? AB is I into B into DL. In case of CD it is minus I into B into DL. Right? So which means that the magnet magnitude of force is IBL. Both are same, only the direction is negative. The direction along Y axis is negative right so both are the magnitudes are both are same ibl here also ibl this negative sign indicates the force on the y axis is negative if we consider the loop a b c d a with the dimension l into w the total torque on this loop is given as the torque equal to 2 into torque on each side we consider a b and c d Right, so the total torque is nothing but two times of torque on each side. What is the formula for torque? Force into distance between the axis of rotation. That is the general formula. Torque equal to F into distance. Right, so the two times because we consider on both the side. So two into the force we already calculated IBL for both AB and CD is IBL. Only the negative sign is there. That is that indicates it is going in negative direction. The distance from the axis of rotation is W by 2 because W is the width, the point P is located exactly at the half. So that's W by 2. So these two two got cancelled. So finally what we got? I B L W. Right? That can be written as I into W L into B. What is W into L? Width into length that is nothing but area. Right? So the WL can be replaced. WL is nothing but A, right? So that torque equal to I into A into B. Current, area and magnetic flux density. The torque is defined by these three parameters. So in this video, we discuss about the force between the between two conductors and force between two current loop and torque on the closed circuit, right? Thank you.